Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a nice start to this uh, to this Labor Day weekend, and uh, I know what you're all thinking, is that going to be continuing throughout the weekend? And for more on this, we have our newly minted meteorologist, Ben Kuchnikevich here. And Ben, what can we expect throughout the next couple days? Yeah, thanks, Brady. Just completed the meteorology program through Mississippi State, so finally can call me a meteorologist. All right, thank you very much, Brady. We're looking at a pretty nice weekend out there. Right now, Houghton Hancock, Portage Lake Lift Bridge. We showed the Mackinac Bridge earlier, my two favorite bridges out there. I like the Portage Lake Lift Bridge a little better just because it's a tad more underrated. 73 degrees right now in the Houghton Hancock area. Wind out of the west at 17 miles per hour, so it's a bit breezy and it's going to stay breezy to downright windy as we head through the remainder of the weekend. Had one cold front move through. The winds are getting a bit gusty behind that. Not out of the question, a little shower could pop up across the eastern UP for the remainder of the evening, but most of us are done with any rain chances. The next cold front's all the way off the screen. It's not going to come through until later tomorrow night. So here's future radar and wind gusts, especially in the Keweenaw Peninsula and the Copper Country. That's where the winds are going to be gustiest easily around 25 to 30 miles per hour through the overnight hours tonight. Not looking at any rain out there for the remainder of the overnight hours. We will watch a cold front make its way towards upper Michigan by the time we hit your Saturday evening. Futurecast not showing any rain getting into here until about 6 o'clock. We could see a few light showers and sprinkles start to develop across western portions of the UP and you see these gusty southwesterly winds up over 20 miles per hour, closer to 30 miles per hour for most areas. This line of showers and a few embedded thunderstorms starts to make its way into the western UP by 7 o'clock in the evening. Most of the Copper Country, western portions of Upper Michigan, dealing with these showers and a few thunderstorms by 9.30 tomorrow evening. 10.30, it's moving into the Marquette area. Same thing for Iron Mountain. By the time we get towards after midnight, eastern sections of Upper Michigan dealing with this line coming through. And one of these storms or two of them could produce some severe wind gusts for us. It's already going to be gusty out there. So with those thunderstorms, it won't be hard to bring down another gusty wind that could approach 50 or even 60 miles per hour for some areas. By the time we hit your Sunday, we are looking at the conditions becoming much nicer out there. Sunny skies returning. Clear skies for tonight. Look for lows in the low to mid 60s along the shorelines, upper 50s to lower 60s for inland areas, though a few areas like Hancock could hang around in the mid 60s. For your Saturday along the shorelines, nice for the first half of the day, then scattered showers and thunderstorms possible late in the afternoon and evening. Highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the shorelines. In areas mostly in the lower 80s, though a few mid 80s are possible. Going out towards the shorelines, it's going to be gusty out there. Look for gale force winds possible. Waves could be as high as three feet for us. Seven day forecast looks like this. Much nicer in here Sunday and Monday. I know Monday we've got the Labor Day walk across the Mackinac Bridge out there. Seven in the morning to noon, the bridge will be closed. Could be a bit gusty for us. We're looking at those temperatures getting up towards the mid 60s by one o'clock in the afternoon. After that, 70 is expected here for your Tuesday. 80, the warm day coming up here for Wednesday. Then cooler Thursday and Friday with chances for rain returning, Brady. Yeah, well, at least it's going to be nice tonight. Nice for. Uh Labor Day travel and also nice for sports. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and speaking of which, we have Kevin standing by the preview of what's coming up. Good 